Hi, my name is Dr. Raheem Karmali, and welcome to Lowry Endodontics. A question I commonly get is, what's the difference between a periodontist and an endodontist? And it can be confusing, and rightfully so. Just like in medicine, there are different specialties to manage different types of disease. Well, in dentistry, it's really no different. Dentistry has six recognized specialties, but I just want to focus on two of them today. And that's the difference between endodontics and periodontics. So let's start with the periodontist. Perio is Latin for a round and dont is Latin for a tooth. So a periodontist is a dental specialist who manages the tissues around the tooth. Mainly it's the gum tissue and the bone surrounding the tooth. In a healthy situation, the gum tissue and the bone is tightly around the tooth with very little space. If plaque, calculus, bacteria get around the tooth, the gum tissue gets inflamed. And as that gum tissue gets inflamed, it bleeds very easily. And that inflammation causes bone loss around the, the tooth itself. Periodontists are specialists that are experts in managing this type of disease. They can clean the tooth and get the gum tissue to uh, reduce its inflammation, and they can even graft bone back once it's been lost. Periodontists also can extract teeth and place dental implants to replace a tooth that can't be saved. So now let's talk about the endodontist. Endo is Latin for inside, and dont is Latin for tooth. So an endodontist is the dental specialist that deals with um, the soft tissues inside the tooth. And the soft tissue inside the tooth is called the pulp. This pulp has the blood supply, immune system, and the nerves of the tooth. When this pulp is inflamed as, and is in the process of dying, it can become very temperature sensitive, very bite tender. It can hurt quite a bit. Once that pulp dies, it loses its immune function and bacteria will get in there and an infection will form. And the infection will leak out of the root spaces into the bone surrounding the tooth and an abscess will form. One of the things that makes this so dangerous is these abscesses can form and be silent for many years. You don't know what's happening, but you've got an infection in your jawbone until one day it blows up on you and there's pain and swelling and discomfort. So the endodontist role is being able to clean out this diseased pulp tissue to either prevent an infection or if an infection is already there to remove the infection. And once the infection is removed, the abscess will resolve, the bone will heal, and it will grow back. And so the purpose of, of an endodontist is to save your tooth, preserve it predictably for a long period of time. So that's the main difference between a periodontist and an endodontist. If you've got an infection around the outside of your tooth that's causing bone loss, then you'd want to see a periodontist. If you've got an infection on the inside of your tooth causing bone loss, then you'd want to see an endodontist. Now, unfortunately, diagnosing between the two can be a little bit tricky and a little bit complicated. If you've been told you need root canal treatment, or you've been told you need an extraction and you want to rule out other alternatives to see what can be done to save your natural tooth, then give us a call here at Lowry Endodontics. We'd be happy to meet you for a very comprehensive evaluation to determine what your needs are and help you decide what the best course of action is for you. Thank you for watching.